Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we are going to be looking at the effects of a small black hole on Earth. Or near Earth. Or maybe a slightly larger black hole. Oh jeez, dogs. Gotta love them. Charm, jewel, don't, please, no. Okay, well we'll be beginning that right after my dog stop barking. So let's get started. Okay, so it looks like we have a few new subscribers, and on top of that, we are ready to begin. So we're just going to go into Add, Grab Earth, because if we're testing with Earth, we're going to need Earth. And here is Great Blue Marble Earth. And let's turn off labels and stuff, because I don't really need it. Slow down time a bit. Let's put down a very small black hole, and let's just put it... We'll put it on China, why the heck not? So if we pause, we're going to have to go to black holes. Oh, that's way too big. Okay, here is a black hole with the weight of one sun. Oh. This one is actually quite small, so I do not have to worry. So right off the surface of the Earth. There we go, here is our black hole. And let's see the effect. So it's actually orbiting Earth, but that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, was it orbiting Earth? Maybe too close. Okay. Okay, never mind. It's going to hit Earth. And it ate Earth. Okay. So that's not what we want. We want it to orbit Earth in the Roche limit to affect it. So uh, let's... Oh, I forgot. It's the way to the sun. We're going to have to have Earth orbit it. That's fine. Okay, that's great. So Earth is actually orbiting the thing <laughs> so close that it's literally just br going right next to it when it orbits. And it looks like we are actually ripping Earth slightly apart. You can see the effect of it on Earth, and it is causing small explosions as it rips part of Earth out. And if we speed things up, we can actually see it pulling these rocks out of Earth and flinging them back around. And these asteroids are actually going to go around and fly back into Earth like so, causing lots of explosions. Where did the black hole go, though? Um, can we find it? Okay, labels on. There's Earth. Where is our black hole? So this black hole is really causing a lot of trouble for Earth. It is completely destroying the equator. Poor equator. We're already cutting down all the forests and jungle there, and now this black hole has just got to rip it apart. So as you can see, it's just going to continue ripping it apart, pulling everything out, and just causing a lot of trouble for the uh, equator. So, what happens if we use a slightly bigger black hole? I imagine you could do this all around the world and it would just cause a ton of destruction, but let's just try using a bigger black hole. Let's double it. So if we go add, uh, let's do the black hole first like last time. So we've got the one sun. One sun, and now we're just going to change that to two suns. It doesn't look like much, but now it should have double the effect on Earth. It should. It's questionable if it will. So is that close enough? That looks close enough to me. I'm not sure if it's as close as last time. Oh shoot, it just instantly destroyed Earth. Okay, let's try going a bit further away then. Okay, so let's plop down our... Oh shoot, where'd it go? There it is. Black hole. Two suns. And... Earth. We don't want it to be too close, but we want it to be pretty close. Oh shoot, that was dumb. Okay, now it's got two Earths and one... I mean, two suns and one Earth. Whatever, that won't do anything really. Oh my. They're instantly being eaten. How? It's not even touching. Okay, so 
we can see the effects of that black hole on Earth pretty clearly. So that's why we were having a problem. It's just way too much. Just doubling the mass uh, makes a huge, huge difference. So let's do that again. I'm just going to plop down this, and we're going to go... Let's instead of that do 1.2 suns and do what we did before and see if we can get a close to last time. Nope. Seems like no matter where we... Oh, there we go. So here we have Earth being ripped apart by this black hole. Two times the uh, mass of the sun, but... The reason I'm calling them small is because they are actually quite small in measurements. This is only three kilometers aqua uh, across, across, making it very small for a black hole. And extremely hard to detect. So we can see Earth is being ripped apart by the black hole pretty quickly. And it's actually losing mass and shrinking and being hit by its own material. It's not a good day for Earth. And it's creating a nice little ring around the black hole. <clears throat> which looks pretty awesome we disconnect from here look at that this is this is space very space so that's the effect of a slightly larger black hole now let's do something a little bit interesting if we get the small black hole from before the one sun one and we put it down and we do what's called position lock charm. Don't you bark. Please don't. And now we position lock it and then we have Earth go right next to it. Very, very close to it. Make sure it's paused. Boop. Now we're going to position lock Earth. So this is going to force them to stay still. Very close to each other. Let's see the effect. In three... Two, one. So, material is being ripped directly out of the world, and it's being slammed into that black hole and back into Earth. It's causing a huge, huge explosion on this side of the planet, and it's actually causing material to be ripped out of the other side of the Earth. Kind of looks like the Earth's gone chicken pox, because it's exploding literally everywhere. Mostly towards this side, though, where you can see all the material being ripped out if we speed things up we can see the earth just slowly engulf itself in a ton of shock waves and explosions as it slowly uh, rips itself apart earth is losing mass pretty quickly if we look at its mass amount in earth it's only <laughs> eight tenths of the size it was before and if we continue at a faster pace, we can see it shrinking as bigger and bigger pieces are ripped out. So at this point, Earth is now about half of the size it normally is, and it's still being ripped apart pretty well. It's getting a little bit laggy because the sheer amount of explosions, but as we can see, entire continents are just being ripped off of the planet, eaten. Oh, I accidentally clicked on something over there. And we get a little message over here from Space Time Ripper Universe Sandbox 2 rules. And as we can see, material just continually gets pulled out of Earth as it's absolutely destroyed. Look at that. Not a happy planet. Doesn't matter where you're living, you are now dead. Oh, and it looks like Earth is shrinking faster and faster because the material is less likely to hit itself. It's only 11 times the mass of the moon now. A tenth of what it used to be. Earth is only a tenth of the planet it used to be. <laughs> and as we watch, it's just going to shrink, shrink, shrink. But it's getting kind of laggy. Oh, there. It just completely died. By Earth. So let's do one more test in this uh, video, and it's going to be doing the Earth with the black hole, but two times the sun. <clears throat> so let's position lock it, and let's add our small black hole. 
which we're going to put near America this time. America has not gotten its fair share of being ripped apart by black holes. We're going to put it very close. Slightly outside of the atmosphere. And we're going to make this two suns, and we're going to position lock it as well. Boom, boom, and we're good to start. Let's just slow things down a little bit. And three, two, one. Now we are going at a tenth of a second per second, so this is slower than real time. And we can instantly see, in fractions of a second, the entirety of, um, well, Central America is now gone. Speeding up to real time. Uh, any second out here. This is real time. So this is actually how fast it would actually occur. We can see all the material being very quickly ripped out of Earth. Um, Earth's size is... Eh, it's losing a bit of mass. We've got Earth only clocking in. Actually, it's not lost that much yet. Only... Uh, it's, mm, only about a hundredth of its mass has been lost, but the amount of destruction is on a different scale. Look at that as the entire thing erupts into explosions, and it slowly shrinks as it gets ripped apart. The Earth is actually completely blindingly white right now. The material, <laughs> the material is being spewed out in both directions, almost like a pulsar. Wow, the effect of this, look at that, it's just shooting it off. And it looks like it's getting a little bit laggy now because of all the uh, particles are hitting each other while going into the sun. But look at that, that is incredible. That's actually going to be used in the thumbnail, partly. If I can, uh find a good part of the thumbnail <laughs> it looks like earth has officially been ripped apart completely and I think that this cone is actually um pretty perfect I think if we draw a little cone over it also I'm just gonna check something very quickly if I go boop boop Hmm, there was something I wanted to check very quickly before the video ends. Show watermark. <laughs> oh well, so thank you guys for watching Earth be absolutely destroyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and make sure you remember to make Canada great again. <laughs> yep, uh, just don't forget that like and sub, because that, that, makes, that makes the space people happy. Become a Vuperian today. Oh my god, next video we're going to do this and have another planet here and watch it get absolutely destroyed by the beam. Yes, that is a good idea. Doing it next time. Yep, bye.